My time at Somerset um, ended through the way that he was uh, dealt with and I thought it was appro appropriate for me to retire from Somerset. I didn't want anything to do with them. Uh, I was horrified the way that uh, Viv and uh, Joel had been treated after all the years that they'd brought success to that club. We hadn't won anything for 104 years or something prior to the arrival of that team mm -hmm. under Brian Close. And for one player to um, decide that he was going to run it all and we'll get rid of Viv and he get rid of Joel. And I think he thought that I would stay, uh, but he soon got the message on the last afternoon when I walked and thanked each corner of the ground. And uh, I had no intentions of playing under that bloke. So I went to Worcester, he went to Glamorgan. We still played against each other quite a few times. Um, but um, yeah, we had a great time at Somerset, don't get me wrong. Uh, about 15 years, I suppose, in total mm -hmm. there. Uh, won a lot of trophies um, and put the put the club on the map. But uh, no, when the the way he was treated, I wasn't going to stand by and watch that. So that was a huge statement that um, Ian would have made because we we, we we lived together. We 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 did almost a lot of things together. We wanted a lot of things together. Um, we shared the bad times together as well, you know. So <clears throat> for him to have um, have done that, uh, and that to me sort of a open up the doors telling me what Ian was all about. You know, you look and see the work that he was, he's done for his charity. And some of the, the guidance you try and give some of these young individuals, it's not how you start. Maybe you try and concentrate on how you finish. And um, to, to me, when you hear Ian speak about maybe condemn flat, these are all the starts that you need in life for you to correct things. And when you get, when you do get, um, get an opportunity to grab them with both hands, you know, and you know, um, that's the perfect example. So uh, to, to me, I, I grew up in an environment where um, uh, there was a guy who believed, you know, and I myself, and I guess maybe that was, would, would have drawn us together. And um, the, the, winning, the winning habits, the, 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 the ability to compete, um, fierce competitors. Yeah, um, I think we, we drew off each other in that particular way. So I guess we were destined to um, to, to, to meet on that particular day and to be here presently in, in, in our lives. Yeah. Well, well, look, when you're on the field of play, you're on the field of play. Uh, and then when you come off, uh, we go sit down and have a beer together or go out for something to eat, whatever. And, you know, the, the six hours, seven hours have been uh, competitive. And, you know, I remember many a time watching him go to 100 and 120 and got him out a few times but he actually got me out once in a test match and uh in trinidad and he ran around danced around me all the way to the english dressing room and i felt that was just a little over the top no no <laughs> because um what was said to me right because um him and jeff boycott always used to to look and say you bought that little mickey mouse stuff you know <laughs> and when you you get him out, you know, because Ian, as I said, he, he gives you a chance. And that's why um, he's a great because he took chances and um, he made good use of them. And uh, he took a chance that day and um, I had him and I did the flip and uh, I, I was like, um, I, I was somewhat on uh, the gymnastic floor. I, still, I was I still rolling and doing free. the tumbling and all that stuff. Because to me, it's, <laughs> uh, when you get Ian Bottom's wicket, that's a prize wicket, you know, so I, I totally, uh, I uh, enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, look, yeah, first of all, first of all it depends how big the glass is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so, but um, he's never been on that since. And I, I remember seeing him on programs with um, the wine connoisseurs and stuff like that. And saying, wow, here's, here's the beef, you know. But um, certainly he got me involved with the red wine and um, it's, it's done a lot for me, really. It's, uh, as you said, the glass of Shiraz, um, uh, some Merlot or whatever goes on, you know. <laughs> well, it's just a great honour. Um, uh, we, it was talked to us a while back and then COVID came along and everything got put on the back burner. But um, no, it's nice to actually see it. Uh, it's come to fruition and we looked at it. I only saw it myself yesterday and uh they haven't seen it until today yeah yeah actually i had a on my on my uh phone my uh whatsapp what, what's yeah. up or what's up what, what's up my, <laughs> my whatsapp phone you know uh, i had a little bit of uh a view and yeah i felt that um said it was um, sterling silver i'm extremely um happy as you said for both both of us you know we, we have come a long way and to be even to be considered uh put in our names to me that's 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 huge um game that we played and loved and enjoyed game that would have given us so much also you know um, um i'm thankful very, very thankful the legacy is that uh, from my point of view uh, and i'm sure from vivs is that you know we enjoyed a great game and we played it highly competitively whether we're playing with each other or against each other uh, it was full on and um what we learned, what I learned from there is how a team works, comradeship, team spirit. Uh, not everyone has a great day and lifting the people that haven't had a great day. So uh, it, to actually have a trophy as, as distinguished as this, taking over from the Wisdom Trophy is a great honor. So I, I would just like to say to the kids, you know, it'd be a nice moment when you can lift that trophy for yourself. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thank you, Beef. Bro. Hey, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord both of them. Sir. Actually, Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You, you must ride out and protect me. <laughs>